I am not gonna lie. <laughs> I'm a, a little bit nervous. Excited, but nervous. Because this is the biggest trip I've ever taken. I'm driving from Knoxville, Tennessee to Colorado. I've never been on a trip this big before, especially by myself. This is just me, myself, and I. This is gonna be a long drive. Today it's only about three, four hours, nothing that bad. But the next few days, lots of driving. Right now I'm headed to a tiny house in Clarksville, Tennessee. It's right on the Tennessee-Kentucky border. That's where I'm staying tonight. And then tomorrow I'm going to Missouri to go camping. All right, I've officially made it to Clarksville, Tennessee. This is the furthest in Tennessee I've been, funny enough. It'll be the farthest away from home I've ever been. And I'm staying at a tiny house tonight. Check this thing out. Let's get a, let's go a little wide angle on that. This thing is so cute, man. It's tiny, obviously it's a tiny house. I, I dig the, the sliding door on the bathroom. You got a little, little seat right here so you can ponder your thoughts while you sit under the warm water. But yeah, this is my pad for the night and this is where I'm staying. I'm gonna leave bright and early in the morning to go to Missouri. Tomorrow night I'll be camping, so I'll be roughing it a little bit. I'm excited. I'm gonna eat. Th that's about it, I'm gonna eat. Also, cool thing about this Airbnb, look at this fridge. Look at this little retro fridge, man. Pretty sweet, I love the blue color. Sauce, anyone, perhaps? Maybe I'll have a little bit of the windy sauce for dinner, mmm. <laughs> I'm so dumb, dude. <laughs> I, I meticulously planned this trip out, like, every place I'm gonna stay every single day. Like, I spent so long planning this out. I just got off the phone with someone at the campground, I guess. I was checking my calendar, I was checking my email my calendar to figure out if there was anything I need to bring. And he's checking information for my campsite tomorrow. And I realized I placed it for two days from now instead of one day from now. So I had to call and ask them, and thankfully they were able to switch it over, no problem. I just feel like an idiot. <laughs> like, I meticulously planned this out. I sleep the best, to be honest. Like, the bed itself is comfy, but these pillows are too thick for me. First time that ever happened. <laughs> I'm leaving a lot later than I wanted to. It's almost 8 o'clock. I want to leave at, like, 7. But that's fine. I'm on vacation, dude. Like... <laughs> Right, guys i've made it to missouri i just crossed over the border actually and i decided to stop and get some food got some mcallisters bacon lettuce tomato with avocado I used to get this all the time when i worked at mcallisters i got like two and a half hours close to three hours ish left so not that bad i'm only there for one night so i gotta make the, the most of it and i gotta set up my campground and everything so i'm not gonna have a whole lot of time to sit around probably <laughs> but we'll see how it goes Got the tent set up over there. Got my fire going. Things are looking good. I'm about to uh, put the skillet on and uh, make me a steak. The store didn't have anything smaller than a full pack of butter. So now I just have a shit ton of butter. <laughs> One stick of butter <laughs> going in the skillet. I think I may have overcooked it a little bit, but my first fire steak. I'd rather overcook it than undercook it, I guess. I don't like it, but I'm gonna eat it. All right, I am making some tea. I didn't bring a mug, so I'm just gonna use my tumbler I have. Got some tea from the Airbnb, I stole it. Oh, nothing like a fresh little smoke in the face. You know, I personally love the feeling. Ooh, I'm gonna burn myself, 100%. I'm gonna do this on the ground. Boom, camping tea. Easy. I'm just sitting here enjoying the fire and my camping tea, but I haven't even gotten to try it yet because it's so hot, like it's been 45 minutes. This thing just keeps things really cold, really hot. I bet this line is just doing wonders for my face right now. 
while I'm headed to bed. This is uh, my little setup here. I know, I know everyone's going to say, you're not real camping because I have an inflatable mattress and fuzzy blankets and a pillow. I like to be comfortable. So, I mean, you can say whatever you want. And I want to be able to stand completely straight up in my tent almost. A 10 by 10 tent for one person and a queen mattress. Screw you. I'm not going to lie. That was not the most pleasant thing I've ever done in my life. Not miserable, miserable, but I kept waking up. I was cold. I mean, once I got under my blanket, I was fine, but I had to stay under my blanket. Like, I couldn't poke my face up, or else my face would get chilly. <laughs> I'm deflating my mattress. It's like 6.30 in the morning, and I'm, just, <laughs> I'm trying to get on the road, man. It's cold, so I just figured I'd go ahead and get up and start moving. I'm still cold, though, so <laughs> I don't know how much that helped. All right, so I'm on the road now. Uh, I left the campground. I really, really wish I could have stayed there another day because I, I didn't get to explore the park at all, really. Like, there's there's a couple caves nearby, there's cool bodies of water. There's just a whole park I didn't get to explore, so that's disappointing. But I mean, I, I plan my own trip, so I mean, it's this person's fault. <laughs> I thought about staying a little bit this morning and exploring, but I have nine hours of driving, and I would really, really like to get that out of the way as soon as possible. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm headed to Ness City, Kansas right now to a little Yo, can we not? I'm headed to Nest City, Kansas right now. I have an Airbnb there. I'm gonna stop for breakfast in about 45 minutes at a, <laughs> at a Chick-fil-A because I, just, I don't like fast food breakfast really besides like Panera and Chick-fil-A. And I eat Chick-fil-A every day because I work there. I don't ever eat chicken minis just because I don't ever get those on my break. So that's the one thing I can have that I'm not tired of. I'm gonna get those Missouri Chick-fil-A chicken minis. So I've made it to Kansas finally. I'm about 30 minutes into the state. Uh, I stopped for a PP break and a little food break. I still have close to five hours left on my journey. <clears throat> Sexy, right? All right, so good news. I finally made it to my Airbnb. Bad news, I don't think I'm gonna be able to use my drone at all in the entire state of Kansas because <laughs> it's a wee bit windy out here gusts up to 40 miles an hour and that's just gonna knock my drone right out of the sky so all right so i uh i definitely crashed last night i ordered some takeout and i just chilled man i was i was tired i still am tired uh but it's the next morning uh i'm almost all packed up i forgot to buy my park pass for the sand dune national park so that's what i'm doing now it's 25 bucks freaking take my money colorado see i'm from tennessee okay it's one of the few parks that there's no fee to get in they just let you in because they're nice I don't know, we probably pay for it some other way. <laughs> I'm on the road again. That's all I've been doing. <laughs> it's been fun for sure. I, I definitely don't mind seeing the country this way. Now I am just under three hours away from Pueblo, uh, 44 miles away from the Colorado border, getting close. I just did a little uh, little PP break at a gas station, and I didn't want to be a jerk or use the bathroom and bounces, so I decided to buy something. I'll just grab a couple of uh, twisted teeth for tonight when I'm camping. <laughs> and for the first time in my life, I wasn't carded. Weirdest feeling, because, I mean, I have the face of a child. I mean, I look like I'm 12. So I've, uh, I've made it to Colorado. Well, actually, I haven't, I haven't been in the state of Colorado yet. I just have been next to it, so I guess I need to go do that real quick. All right, time to go home. Will I get in trouble if I pee in this field? I'm gonna go for it. You only live once, right? Successful pee on the side of the road. Now on to Colorado. I'm, I'm a little upset, smidgen. Bro, that thing long, ain't it? All right, just finished a little bit of shopping. Got some stuff to make steak, bacon, egg, and cheese. So hopefully I don't screw those up because if I screw those up, I have to find the closest general store, which is probably like half an hour away from the campground to buy food. So let's hope it doesn't come to that. Let's hope that all the cooking on this trip goes stellar. I have some good news and some pretty bad news. The pretty bad news is this thing right here. Look at that. 
that's like a seven inch crack over there like my crack's smaller than that <laughs> pretty sure it was some truck when i was in kansas every single truck that passed me just threw rocks and dirt at me and i knew it was going to happen and i just noticed the crack is starting to spread so great the good news is that we're officially in the sand dune national park i, I know it doesn't look very sandy at the moment lots of mountains with snow on top of them but uh we're officially in the park uh, about 20 more miles to go till we get to the campsite. Hey, how are you doing? Good, and you? I'm doing well. All right, Noah? Yes. You're all good to go? Thank you, have a great have day. Yeah, boys and girls. <laughs> Choked up. All right, we have officially made it. Home sweet home. I couldn't get a spot with a view of the desert, but it's literally like right past those trees. So it's just it's just walking distance. It's it's one it's one thing after another, man. So I I set up my tent and it said the store opens at four o'clock. I'm like, great, I got a little bit to set up my tent. It's like 4 10. I'm like, all right, got my tent set up. Gotta go get my firewood. I pull up to the campground store and they're closed. Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, and today's Tuesday, and I'm here for the next two days. So it, literally, the, the two days I'm here, the store's not open. I remembered I saw like maybe 15, 20 minutes down the road, there was a store that said firewood. I'm like, okay, I guess I'm gonna go out of the park and go to that. I see a lady with firewood in her, fresh firewood in her, her fire pit. She said, the store I was talking about, I'm like, sweet. She said, it closes at five though. <laughs> and it was like 40 minutes till. And I couldn't remember where I saw it. Like, I didn't know if it was before I got into the campground or after, I, I forget, but I made it. Firewood right there, got a few more in the back. So I should be good for tonight. Cause it gets cold, like 20 degrees. I'm really nervous about it, not gonna lie. It, uh, it was cold last night. 20 degrees cold. I'm just, uh, Cooking my, my bacon. Fire's nice, man. It took forever to get it started. It was so cold. And it's not going to get like into the 30s for another couple hours. Alright, so here I am at the Dunes Trail. Uh, I'd really like to go to the top of the Dunes today, but I don't know how far that hike is. Plus, I already feel like I have asthma. I don't have asthma, that's the thing. <laughs> the altitude is just so different from Tennessee. Before I start hiking up to the Dunes, I just want to show the stark contrast. A landscape here we got sand dunes and then we have mountains and there's snow on some of these mountains like it's just so amazing like there's sand snowy mountains so cool This is truly uh, the trip of a lifetime. <laughs> it's rare that I get to experience something like this, and I think most people don't either. Uh, it's, it's a blessing to be here. Anyways, I'm having a moment. Uh, if if you can, go out and do something like this. It's it's a great, great experience, and you don't want to miss out on it. So I'm barely even at the foot of the dunes right now. Like, I, I still have a while to go before I actually get up to the dunes, you know? I feel like I'm procrastinating, but I just... It's hard to not stop and keep looking at things because it's so unique and I've never seen this shit before. If you live in Colorado, you probably see this shit all the time. I go, no, you're you're freaking dumb, which I'm the same way at the Smokies. They're beautiful. I love going to them. But people are like, oh my goodness, a deer. Holy sh Yes. They walk in my backyard. Shut up. All right, so I took a little break. Went back to camp. Recharged. I have more stuff with me. Got a little backpack, little supplies. I read online that you need to stick to the slopes, not go through the bowls. So... That's what I plan on doing, following this path up to that boy right there.
this is one of the few spots that the sand is relatively hard. Thankfully, getting up some of these hills, it's just like, I mean, a great analogy would be walking through quicksand, but it's kind of what it is. This thing's definitely kicking my butt, though. I'm tired. It is pretty darn beautiful, though. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but this drop-off behind me is huge. Like, if I fell down that, I, I wouldn't be getting back up here. So I finally made it to the top. This is super steep down there. And my campsite is, like, I don't even know. Somewhere over there. It's a long ways away. I don't even know how far I hiked, to be honest. Uh, this is the next day. Uh, I left the Sand Dune National Park. I'm now on my way to Colorado Springs. I'm about two hours out and I'm just enjoying the scenery, man. I was finally able to get my drone up in the air because I finally left the park. I'm making a quick stop in Pueblo, get a few more things, get some food. I got a gyro here. Uh, hopefully it's freaking delicious. And then I have about 30 or 40 minutes until I get to Colorado Springs where I'll be staying for the night. Okay, let's do a little, little food review here. Give this thing a taste. I'm going to make an absolute mess of this. I know it. It's so hot. But good, though. Man, I'm, I'm looking a little rough, eh? <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not wearing the same clothes with the same flannel, but I have a new shirt underneath, new underwear. Don't worry, guys. I'm not living homeless quite yet. I know this has been all over the place the past few days. I haven't recorded a lot. I've just been living, man. It's, it's a lot of work to, like, craft the narrative of a video and, like, bring you along with me. So I've just been doing my own thing enjoying my life i've been having a great time the airbnb i stayed at last night was so cool i might throw up some pictures or something no okay this airbnb host had a really really cool property the backyard was awesome there's a cool little hangout shed like you got a home depot shed and like turn it into this little hangout spot in the backyard so cool unfortunately today is my last day in colorado it's so pretty here check out you can just see the mountains like everywhere you go, everywhere you turn, you can see the mountains somewhere. It's so cool. I thought I live close to the mountains. Nah, th this is close to the mountains. I found a neat coffee shop. I'm going to get some breakfast. Then I'm going to hit the road. Check this bad boy out. Oh, yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Uh-huh, that's going to be right there inside me. <laughs> All right, so I've made it to my Airbnb. Not huge. I mean, bigger than a, a tiny house for sure. It's uh, meant for like people want to go hunting and fishing in the area. This is the smallest town I've been in. I thought I, I was in a tiny town when I was in a town with 500 people in it. Lucas, Kansas, ladies and gentlemen, 370. <laughs> um, take a look. We got a gas station and that's about it. <laughs> like, I'm not even joking. That's, that's what I have to work with. All right, so I did not realize how tiny of a town this was. Because I booked this very last minute, like two days ago, because I was going to go camping today, again, in the general area. But after two days of back-to-back -back camping, I was just like, I don't want to do this again. Like, I love camping. I just have already got my tent out and put it away three times this trip. I don't want to do it again. So I'm just going to grab a quick Airbnb. This is where I ended up. In the same general area that I was going to camp in. It's just a tiny, 
population 370. <laughs> Look, one, let me just show you. Let me show you how barren this place is. All right, we have Lucas, Kansas. That's where I am, right here. Let's just give a quick little gander at the restaurants. Oh my goodness. What is that? <laughs> my choice is one restaurant. It has a 4.5, great. It's called K18 Cafe. It looks, I checked out, it looks just like a random diner. This town is so small, in fact, that the restaurant that I'm talking about, it's uh, it's right there. That I can see it <laughs> from my, my room. So part of the reason people come out to Lucas is because they want to go hunting or fishing or, or something like that. And I saw there's a lake nearby. So I thought, why don't I go check that out? Maybe get some drone shots. And I'm driving there, it's like 10 minutes away. <laughs> and I just, Google takes me to this dirt road. <laughs> so it, it doesn't look like I should be here, but I guess we'll find out. I just need to tell you that you're a fucking bitch. You.